What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the fluffy gamer's thumb in the way. Get out the way. Today is Tuesday, March the 28th. March is almost done with. But I did go out and do some more hunting today. Found some stuff, several different stores. I think today was a pretty decent day. It wasn't the greatest day, wasn't definitely wasn't the worst day. Definitely got some stuff to add up to the bay. Got some stuff, some fresh inventory from your boy, the fluffy gamer. But uh, as of yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video, my score of the day was a brand new inbox. LG wired Blu-ray slash DVD player. Well, after working with Lyft last night, got home, took pictures of all the other stuff that I found, listed it online, saved the box for last, cut it open, opened it up, and I'm glad I did because it was not brand new factory sealed. It had a, um, a Goodwill sticker on the uh, actual DVD system itself. It still looks like it's in great shape, but definitely gonna have to test it out, make sure the DVD slash Blu-ray wired player works, and definitely wanna make sure that the little tiny remote works as well. And if so, I should be able to get at least, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks, ship it all, ship it in the box, you know, that it came with. And uh, yeah, and those, Definitely a little bit of meat on the bone still, as long as everything works after I test everything. But let's get on to today's finds. Started off over at the Valley Thrift Store up in the Escondido area. Picked up two items, two Blu-rays. They were both $2.99 each, so three bucks plus tax, so three twenty-three dollars each, something like that. Uh, the first thing I picked up is a concert, a very live concert at Dunnington, Dunnington, D-O-N-I-N-G-T-O-N, Experience High Definition. I always check out the uh, live concerts, whether it be uh, DVD or Blu-ray, especially the Blu-rays. And this one seems to be going for around 15 bucks. And it's a great group. This is the very first rock group that I ever got into from my neighbor. My brother was listening to it. My neighbor liked it. And then I went to the fair one, one year at the, I was at the local high school and I was on this little ride that looks like a UFO. You get in it, you basically standing up and it spins around super fast to where you get like basically stuck against the wall. It's a ride called Gravitron. And when I went on that ride for the first time, not only did I enjoy the ride, it was very cool, very fun, but they were playing a little bit of ACDC back in black. I don't know why, but me being in that ride, enjoying myself and that song, back in black. I guess I'm back. I bet you know I'm Bob. <laughs> don't really know the lyrics, but uh, I, I fell in love with it. And that was one of the, it wasn't the very first uh, cassette that I bought, but it was one that I bought after getting into. I was like, you know what? I like ACDC. So yeah, love ACDC. This is the Blu-ray ACDC live in Dunnington. Dunnington, we'll go on this side. This is worth around 15 bucks. So paid $2.99. Going up on the bay. It's like a little manual in here. Looks like a bunch of pictures inside here. Pictures and whatnot. Very cool. What's the lead singer? Angus, I think his name is. I know he just recently retired and then Axl Rose kind of took over, went went on concert in the, yeah, I kind of like hearing Guns N' Roses singing ACDC songs. So anyways, going up on the bay, this is in great shape. All right. Next thing I found, and the last thing over at the Valley Thrift Store, uh, the DVD's not really worth much, but it looks like it could probably get right around 10 to $12. So for three bucks, definitely no brainer. Some meat on the bones for this comedy double feature starring Chevy Chase. And that is a movie with Funny Farm. Remember liking that one? And Spies Like Us, one of OGP's favorite comedy movies with Dan, Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase. Very funny movies. So 
definitely had to pick this up. I have this on DVD already. So going up on the bay, should be able to get around 10 to $12. Nothing special, no inserts, but the disc is in great shape. Very funny movies. Going up on the bay. All right, let's see. That's uh, all I got over there. I ended up going over to the local Salvation Army where I never find anything. And like usual, I didn't find anything. So, went continued my journey on for the day. Went to the local Goodwill in Escondido. And they had some stuff in there. Nothing worth picking up except for one DVD. Brand new factory sealed. Going up on the bay. Looks like it's from Echo Bridge. Uh, this is a 90s kid star collection. It has six movies. I don't know if it's one disc. It's probably a two disc set. I don't know. I'm assuming two disc set. Three movies in each one. Or maybe maybe a three disc set. I don't, it feels kind of light. So I'm assuming maybe two disc set. Doesn't say. Doesn't specify. But it is brand new factory sealed. Two uh, pretty good movies. Nothing really worth anything much except for one of them. Um, My Girl. Macaulay Culkin. And then My Girl 2, which I'd never seen that one. Uh, Radio Flyer. Great movie. And then uh, North and Troop Beverly Hills. Uh, the one that's worth a little bit of money is Wild America with, uh, what's his name, from uh, uh, Home Improvement. Kid from there. That one alone is worth a little bit of money, and I think that is the only reason why this has a little bit of meat on the bones. Should be able to get right around 10 to 11 bucks plus shipping. Going up on the bay from Echo Bridge. No security sticker or anything. No security sticker, but there is the, uh, you know, right down here. I don't know if you can see it. It says made in Mexico on the uh, plastic. So definitely a legit seal. Going up on the bay. A little bit of money. All right, let's see. Where did I go next? I went to the uh, Goodwill in Vista. And I struck out. Sadly. Usually a pretty good place to go to. And I usually find some stuff. But not today. Not today. So continued my journey on. Over to the one of the Goodwills in Oceanside. And they had some new inventory in there. So not a whole lot, but there was definitely a bunch of new stuff in there. And I picked up three titles, two DVDs and one Blu-ray uh, complete series. Or not series, but complete. Uh, no, it's not a trilogy. It's four of them. But complete saga, I guess you could say. This one's called The Complete Adventure. Give you a little hint right there. But let's start off with the DVDs. Uh, the first one I picked up is a movie called Macon County Line. And the slogan says, they're on the bad side of the wrong man. Looks like a lot of trouble. What is it called? Macon County Line. Got the uh, sheriff. Looks like a sheriff right there. Don't know anything about it, but it does appear to go for about 10 bucks plus shipping. Maybe even a little bit more. Swapped the case out because it came in with a cheap, flimsy case with the uh, recycled ones on both ends. So it felt very flimsy. So I swapped it out with a very nice, sturdy case. Pretty good shape. So going up on the bay, $3. Should turn that into at least 10 bucks. All right. The next one that I found over at one of the Goodwills in Oceanside. Another DVD. This one, you know, probably get made fun of for picking this up again. Uh, but it looks like it's another uh, 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 persuasion type of persuasion type movie. Uh, this one says it's one of the one of the year's ten best, and then it also says a moving wartime romance. Yeah, that is a movie called Yoshi, a Yasi, Y O S S I, and Jagger. Yossi and Jagger. It says two soldiers and a love that lasts forever. Looks like a love story. Love story. Going up on the bay. As soon as I saw this, I was like, yeah, probably worth a little bit of money. And it is. It's worth about 15 bucks. Going up on the bay. Disc is in pretty good condition. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good condition. So I don't think I will have to put it in my player to watch it to make sure it works. I think I'm safe. Don't need to watch it. Going up on the bay. <laughs> All right. Good find right there. But the find of the day over there 
Also, for $2.99, this is a Blu-ray series. Digibook, I would love to have this for my collection. I have it already. It's in like a box set uh, on Blu-ray, so I don't really need it. But this is a pretty cool uh, variant, particular version to have for the complete adventures of... Dun, 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 dun. I love this trilogy. I even love the the uh, Crystal Skull. I mean, obviously that's my least favorite, but I definitely love the original. Temple of Doom is probably my favorite. Last Crusade and the uh, Skull, whatever that one's. The Gray Skull, or whatever it's called. I don't remember. But anyways, it's in pretty good condition. Kind of looks like, you know, you're uh, flipping through the pages like it's a book. It's got a disc, Blu-ray disc for the first movie. Then the second movie. And I, I checked all the Blu-rays. They're all in great condition. So, very good. Very nice find. The last disc has, like, bonus features. Very, very fun movies. Very fun movies. Used seems to be going for about 20 bucks plus shipping. So great find right there for sure. My brother, he just sent me like a Facebook message. He was watching Temple of Doom the other day. So yeah, I need I need to give this a rewatch. It's been a while since I've watched that. I have it already. So anyways, that's all I got over there. I went to the very last and final Goodwill in Oceanside. There's only two. And uh, the 78 Westbound Freeway at College is still closed. Must be a pretty big landslide or, or whatever happened. They had to close it up and it's not even open yet. And it's been like a couple weeks now. But anyways, the last place that I went to, I found another copy. This used to go for a little bit of money, maybe like 25, 30 bucks. But you'd be lucky to get 10 to 15 now. I'm hoping to squeeze out 15 bucks. They're just still selling from 10 to 20 dollars. Whoever is interested or whatever, you know, I'll probably just put it right at the middle. 15 plus shipping. If it doesn't sell, I'll just lower it little by little. You know, dollar, dollar here, dollar there. Joel sells. But this is uh, one of the most original and shocking entries in the series. This is the unrated director's cut. Rob Zombie film of Halloween 2. Family is forever. This is definitely not one of the best Rob Zombie films. I enjoyed it for what it was. Was it great? No. But uh, I guess the director's cut, for whatever reason... Went for a little bit more money. It is a uh, pretty good condition. This is in great shape at the insert of the uh, the artwork behind it. It's got you know Michael Myers right there. But uh, yeah, I love how he's like a you know the guy that plays him, like big gigantic guy, like six foot like ten or something. So definitely makes for a very scary uh, you know guy that's killing people. You see a big guy like that, you just go, oh my god. But anyways. That's all I got for today. That's going to do it. Those will be up on the bay later tonight if you're interested in any of those. If you uh, want to check out what I have available on my eBay store, the link is down below if you're interested. Whatever you buy, whatever whatever day you buy it on for today, expect to get, you know, to shipped out the next day. I always make sure I try to get all the items that sell shipped out to the post office very next day. Try to try, try to be pretty quick about that because I want people to be happy. Get they buy. I want don't want them waiting. I want to get it as quick as possible. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. -bye.